what is up guys welcome back to another video today's video is about unreal engine and how to download it on linux directly without having to compile it or to go through hell now we're going to be downloading two files one is the linux bridge and two is the linux unreal engine 5.4.2 thingy and first you're going to need to sign in and then you're going to need to hit an agreement thingy and then all you have to do is hit download we're going to do right now and as you can see it actually downloads pretty quick but it's still going to take 11 minutes the next thing we're going to download is the linux bridge yeah so that took freaking forever 11 minutes is a long ass time yep all right in that meantime i was actually testing the new version of the open steam linux client and uh it functions pretty well sorry i'm just getting things in place here so you're going to want to right click it and hit extract next because it's only a zip file and Nautilus can handle it. I want to show you something that is really cool, but it's a really nifty feature. Look at this. There's the apps. These are the apps that hold things for me. Like if I wanted to, I could go into IGBA and uh, I've got ROMs in there. I can go into Delta and I got ROMs and firmware in here. Like this is pretty cool. I don't know when they added this to Nautilus, but this allows for easy handling of anything on your iPhone. And yes, I use a goddamn iPhone because I'm not a sadist, okay? If I was, I would use Android. I really don't like Android. I'm never gonna like it ever again. And I don't think I ever did like it to begin with. I remember being on Android and I remember it being the most miserable experience of my whole life. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not about that life. I want something to just work and function. So there we go. Enjoy whatever works for you. Okay. Now this is going to take a bit of time to extract. As you can see, it's about 24.8 gigs, 50 seconds left. So we're going to let that finish. Okay. So it's finished. Uh, where is the file? The file is here. And we're going to go into engine. We're going to go into binaries. And I'm going to choose Linux. And now we're going to need to load everything and separate everything by type. So type. And the reason we need to do this is so we can easily get to the executables. And we don't really want it in order. Now these are all the executables, okay? And we're looking for the Unreal Engine, so we're going to need to go to the U's. There's a lot of L's. But we need the U's. Where are the U's? This is Zen. Unreal, Unreal, there it is. There's Unreal Game, this is not it. Okay, these are not it. We need the Unreal Editor, which is this one right here, okay? And we just need to run it. And running it should automatically open up everything needed to start it up. So there we go. It's that simple to get Unreal Engine started and running on Linux. No need to compile or get any janky stuff or use Ubuntu, thank God. Because uh, I remember back in the day, we needed to use Ubuntu to get stuff running. And well, uh, there's been a couple fixes since then. And you can select ray tracing and do whatever you need to. And uh, if we go to third person, uh, we can actually hit create. And we're in. It's just going to compile everything now into your project. How you get assets and things is completely up to you. I think I have a video on a tool that lets me get assets from the Epic Game Store. But if you need to, you can install uh, the Epic Game Store and downloads assets from there. But you'll need to install another copy of the Unreal Engine to get it done and start a project. I think, unless things have changed. But yeah, uh, it's just an Electron app, so, you know. Anyway... Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I have tons of Linux content, more to come in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Hit the like button too, because you know that helps algorithm and all that. Bye everybody.